Like countless others over the years, you may have seen the sign on Interstate 84 just over the mass border in Union, Connecticut. Nobody knows quite what to expect with our sign. They don't know whether it's a restaurant, a bookstore, or this and that. And that's the whole idea. It's just to grab your attention. Attention grabbed. Art and Karen Murdoch have owned and run The Traveler since 1993. Bookstore or restaurant? Yes. Great comfort food in a cozy book line setting and a unique side dish with every meal. Your choice of three books. We've been coming here for about 20 years. How many books would you say you have from this place by now? I've returned some that I've read and brought back, so <laughs> I would say I've got a good 50 of them still at home. Usually you sit in your seat and you stay there, but here everybody wanders around and interacts and, you know, finds their book. I mean, this one had my name all over it. The used books, around 9,000 in the restaurant and 60,000 more in the basement store, are all donated or gathered up on the Murdoch's periodic collection trips. No signed celebrity photos here, but lots of respectful nods to famous authors. I see you went for some serious classics there. Yes, I did. Uh, more for my daughter than myself. I think that she'll enjoy this a lot. It's a great, great one. Can't put it down. Some sites viewed from the interstate are well-known, though, like the Basketball Hall of Fame in Springfield, Mass. Most people, however, including most sports fans, do not know that the Volleyball Hall of Fame is less than 10 miles north of Springfield here in Holyoke, Mass. Of course, a lot of folks don't know there is a Volleyball Hall of Fame. We're this phenomenal gem in the birthplace of volleyball, Holyoke, Massachusetts, kind of off the beaten path. But once you get to us, you get to learn the stories and the history of our great sport. Yep, invented at the Holyoke YMCA in 1895 by George Morgan, volleyball today is the fifth most popular sport in the world. What is unique for us versus other Hall of Fames kind of throughout North America is that we are truly international. So we have 155 inductees from 25 different countries. Including legendary U.S. star, the late Flo Hyman, which speaks as well to how inclusive volleyball has been. Certainly within the United States, volleyball is the number one participation sport for girls high school. We can't say that anywhere else in the world. Yes, the ball has evolved a bit from the 1964 Tokyo Olympics, the first to feature volleyball, to today's aerodynamic ball that can leave a server's hand at over 100 miles per hour. But what really may be most amazing here is, first, where this all started. That you've got two Olympic sports, basketball and volleyball, both originate within 10 miles of each other. And to top it off, the two inventors were friends. It's a total who knew from start to finish. Everyone knows where the Baseball Hall of Fame is. What most people don't know is that every single baseball, from the Little Leagues to the Major Leagues, is still stitched entirely by hand. Every single one. Doesn't matter where you buy it. William Peebles is one of the few people anywhere who make baseballs by themselves by hand. It's a truly unique job, and everybody's always surprised. Like when I do events, they kind of recognize what it is, but they don't quite understand it. And then they say, oh my god, you're actually making a baseball. <laughs> right there in front of you. He's always loved baseball, its history and its artifacts. He made his first baseball as an industrial design student. Didn't go very well. Your first baseball? No, it was terrible. But the idea was still there a decade later when his job was gone. When the market crashed in 08, I just I had an opportunity and an eight-week-old daughter to take care of. So how did the second baseball come out? Uh, better, a lot better. And they've gotten better ever since. Enough so that today, Peebles' one-man Huntington Baseball Company in Norwell turns out customized, handcrafted baseballs for a wide range of clients. He turns out up to a dozen balls a day. The regulation cork and rubber core is pre-made. Everything else done in this room. Cutting and stamping, sewing, putting it in a box, it's probably about 45 to 50 minutes. A grown-up kid still tied to the game he loves, one baseball at a time. This is my dream. I get to live baseball every single day. There is no off-season. When the last pitch is thrown in the World Series, the next day I'm back out here making baseballs. 
William Peebles has created baseballs for a former president, the Baseball Hall of Fame and the Negro Leagues Museum. But one of the most meaningful requests he's had was from a man who wanted to incorporate his late father's ashes into a custom ball. The man said he wanted the ball so he could quote, always play catch with my dad. William had no idea how to do it, but he made it happen.